boscum, or in Latin, bos meaning kindling, and scum meaning decrepit, is on the south of England, not to be confused with Bournemouth, which lies immediately to the west. Boscombe's three most enjoyed pastimes are crime, antisocial behaviour, being off your tits on drugs. Boscombe has the second highest crime rate in the entire of the UK, as we can see in this chart here, is seconded only by Mordor, and that is by one crime. Recreational drug use in Boscombe is also high, and this can range anywhere from casual cannabis use all the way up to doing cocaine through your ear canals. A recent study suggesting that 9 out of 10 Boscomites were drunk 70% of the time, all the time. The problem reaching ahead when Doctor Who was enlisted to help protect the people of Boscombe, the police hoping that his mere presence in the town centre would reduce crime rates. However, he ran into some trouble from home. Mother Nature as well, trying to eliminate Boscombe from the map in 2011 by sending a flood. Unfortunately, this did prove ineffective at clearing away the stain. Unknown to science and nature at the time, it does turn out that chavs do in fact float. It was also discovered that the hooded cloaks that they do seem to wear do in fact serve a purpose to keep the rain out of their eyes, which as it turns out are soluble. Cult game Boscom RPG has been hailed as one of the most accurate portrayals of life on the streets of Boscom, so far as to be recommended to all scientists who do research in the area to prepare them for their likely encounters with the local people. The game features many challenges in a 2D environment that your player must overcome. You also appear to play as Reggae Jesus. The game features many encounters with Boscombe's different kinds of wildlife. For example, this level where we face off against a crackhead. Fun fact, only 77% of people feel safe during daylight hours. The average life expectancy is a decade less than national average. In Boscombe, many kinds of wildlife can be found. We have the common chav national scourge. We also have the chav slag, as well as the juvenile chavlet, typically aged 5 to 16, and crackhead and or other drug user. For example, this gentleman here who was searching the grass in an lsd fueled panic. Scientists were unable to decipher, though, what he was in fact looking for. A much rarer find in Boscombe is the lost middle class family who typically make a wrong turn trying to find Southbourne. The fascinating life cycle of the common Chavisapien. The morning often starts re-emerging from a hibernation in a still hungover state, followed by taking a morning spliff. This is often followed by joining a larger group of Chavs. Groups numbering 1 to 5 tend to be referred to as a shank of Chavs. However, in larger groups, more than five, we tend to refer to as a blessing of chavs. The next step will be getting lit with your crew, which is often achieved via use of alcohol and other depressive substances. They then tend to decipher the code that comes out of Star TV chat. Lastly, the male will start an argument with himself on the way to the club. The Chav will then arrive at the club. Come on! He will now proceed to drink his entire body weight in alcohol and then find a mate which he will show off to the entire club. The pair then consume the greasiest kebab they can find to restore hit points, shortly followed by returning to the Chav nest, where the female will lay her Chav spawn in a pond of Lamborghini. Boscombe's most famous output is in fact foot brawl, not to be confused with football. Invented in 1832 by this chap here, is the same as football, but accounts for fighting. Notable mentions. This gentleman falling. Come on, Boscombe, come through, let's go. A local martial arts expert. This gentleman having a disagreement with a window. The less said about this video, the better. A local hero trading blows with a dragon. Hey, 
as we can see, Boscombe has a lot of secrets yet to reveal to the world of science, but it is hoped that with continued research and further exploration, we will one day understand how and why this place exists.